And let me uh-huh. add on one more thing. So I don't watch the intros, but there is definitely one show that I've ever watched that the uh, – <laughs> <laughs> I watched the outro for it multiple no. times. Oh, here we go. What show is this, bro? Oh, what show is this? Our adventure. Listen oh. to that. I Yo. <laughs> Yo, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures has some wow. of the hardest outros I've ever heard in most anime series, bro. Like to me, that that. Andy, where that hit, they hit that to be continued, and then that outro just come in. I haven't seen the dumb dog. We must pay homage to him. All right, uh, jumping straight into our story time. Today we got another question for the group, and this question is, do you skip the openings when you watch anime? Who wants to answer that one first? Oh, yes, I do. Mm. <laughs> Even. Yes, I am. Um, well, I've become a very impatient man. So I skip them. That's fair. You know, as we get older, we got stuff that we got to deal with. But hear me out. The intro is very important to anime. You know, somebody knows anime intros be like two minutes compared to American intros is like 30 seconds. Exactly. That's because they really tell you what the show about. You got to watch the intro, especially on your first episode. I've never watched the an anime and not watched the intro on the first episode. Now, you may then begin to skip if you decide, one, the music trash is way too long, and so it got to be over a minute and 30. Under a minute and 30, you come on, it ain't too long. Then you can start skipping. <laughs> but you got to at least watch it for the first episode. No, I agree. Okay. It's pretty much, I watch it once, yeah. and then that's a wrap. The only time I would watch it other than one time is that you do have those rare animes that I actually got to give them big ups for that actually update the intros per eps. They're very rare. They like I the only think I ran into like maybe three of them, but they literally have slightly different intros almost per episode, kind of going along with the plot of the show. And that I gotta give the big ups for. So I give respect and actually watch those kids. But I mean, again, stupid rare. Other than that, it's just one the first episode just to give the intro its respect, and then that's a wrap. That's it. And let me um, add on one more thing. So I don't watch the intros, but there is definitely one show that I've ever watched that the uh, <laughs> I've watched the outro for multiple no. times. Oh, here we go. What show is this, bro? Oh, what show is this? Our adventure. Listen oh. to that. <laughs> Yo. Yo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures has some wow. of the hardest outros I've ever heard in most anime series, bro. Like, to me, that... That Andy, where that hit, they hit that to be continued, and then that outro just come in. I haven't seen it done better, but uh, I pretty much agree with Player Five. Like, I it's to me, it's a requirement to the goodness of an anime. I always like pay attention to that first opening, and I feel like it kind of sets the stage. Like, if you hear them niggas going hard on the guitar, uh, it's some heavy metal headbanger type shit. You might be in for some like gore or some heavy action. If I start hearing some QC music, most times I'm like, so you're about to be a slice of life, or you gonna start off as a slice of life. <laughs> you feel me? If I see if I see a shonen um where I just see niggas in beach uniforms for the intro, I can tell y'all motherfuckers is about to be slow. Like this arc is about to fucking suck. So Mm, that's fair. Yeah, I, it's the same thing. I just use certain things to like gauge. Like one of the ones I love was like, um, I knew that season two, part two of that time I got reincarnated as a slime was gonna be hard off that intro alone. Just that niggas like walk with the swag and the beat in the back. I was like, okay, so they not they not fucking with niggas this this season. <laughs> yeah, I, I think oh, it's it, very important to learn the tone of the anime. Then I'll say this, another thing, since I'm, uh, you know, the the slice of life watcher here, I think that like certain slices of life, or not certain, 
Honestly, every slice of life I watch, I watch the entire intro every time because I don't. It could just be me, but I think it's like a part of the culture of slice of life and and romance and comedy watchers. It's like because they start, they usually start off with a high upbeat song and then like a little dance. So you know what I'm saying? You go to conventions and niggas know them dances. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it is, it's part of the culture, bro. Because like. It's just like I don't know. It's like if you go to a, 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 a anime or a shonen thing, right? And then you like, yo, you start talking about Dragon Ball Z. Everybody's expected to know Kamehameha. You might not need to know his whole move list, but you know something. I feel like in the romantic comedy slice of life world, it's like Chumino you know the intro. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's part of the anime. You know, like it just I don't know. I think it's different. I skip shonen intros all the time. But slice of life intros, you only get thirteen of them, motherfuckers, man. You better stick to it. Do you listen to those songs outside of watching anime as well? Sometimes I don't go as hard as like you know, like your your super deep Fujoshi weeaboos. Like I don't go that deep, but I mean, I definitely got a couple. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. Damn. That'd be fun. Um, okay. Yeah, be that way. Uh, another thing I would say is like sometimes people just got bangers. Like, and I think the best part is is like Japan usually like a decade or so behind our music trends. So it's like when I listen to their songs, I'm like, oh, this is like '90s alternative rock or like '90s rap or R&B. You know what I'm saying? It feel nostalgic when you listen to some of these songs. Mm -hmm. I think another thing to call out based on what you're saying is just like, yeah, like you said, they just. I feel like it's more relevant to our generation of anime watcher where like intros weren't always as like, I mean, you could skip them, but it just wasn't as like normal, I guess. You got to put that work in. Yeah. Or Figure you're watching it on TV or you're mm -hmm. watching it on TV where you just have to watch them. So like, I think we got more comfortable watching it where a lot of these people are just like, no, I'm trying to be efficient with my anime watching. So I skip. But the moment some of those things created, like for me, when I found out Naruto Shippu didn't exist it, and then I turned that shit on and listened to that first little rap intro. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I know these niggas are on a different plane Level. of existence. You feel? I knew they That's grew up. So, or like, or like we there's a whole culture around falling asleep and waking up to Inuyasha outro. You right? feel me? <laughs> Thousands of kids yeah. around the nation experience that's that true. like vocal yeah. touch. Yeah, like oh, shit. <laughs> I was like 4 a.m. My bad. All right. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I, I guess we'll cap it there. Any closing comments? Gonna be skipping them intros, at least on the first one. Right? Just get the first give episode a shot. shot. I think that's give fair. A shot. Give them all a shot. Give one episode a shot. Maybe the second season you could be like, fuck it. Because one thing I noticed, I, I don't like the My Hero intros, but I'll leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, uh, people that'll ride or die for them. Right? 